Is Peter Lynch relevant for investors in 2022? Well, I don't know. Is the sun still rising? Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Vlog of Note. In this video, I'm going to tell you about three lessons that you can learn from Peter Lynch, legendary investor. Let's get started. First of all, usual disclaimer here, I'm not a SEBI registered expert, I'm just a person who has made a reasonable amount of money by investing in the stock market. Every one of the investments I talk about are investments that I have personally made. If you want to make your own investments, do your own market research. Now who is Peter Lynch? He used to manage the Fidelity Magellan Fund in the US for about 13 years and during his time the Assets Under Management or AUM went from about $18 million to about $14 billion. He had an annual return rate of about 29.2% which if you've spent any time in the market you will realize that that is pretty awesome. He has also written numerous books, one of the chief among them is a book called One Up on Wall Street. I would highly recommend you read it after you've spent about 2 years in the market. What do you do till then? Well, you can watch some of my videos. Now, there are three things that I think you can learn from Peter Lynch. The first one has to do with this. Invest in what you know and love. Now, this is one of his famous quotes, but I also think that people misinterpret it because when they think invest in what you know and love, they think that they have to go out to the supermarket and they have to see what brands are good and then go and invest in those companies. But that is just the generation of an idea. Warren Buffett, for example, has said that you have to invest in your circle of competence. Basically, he has been sitting on a pile of cash for quite a bit of time and he hasn't invested in many companies. Now, the reason he hasn't invested in many businesses is not because he's an idiot and cannot understand them, but he cannot reasonably predict their future cash flows and therefore value them at the current market price. Peter Lynch has long said that you have to invest in your area of expertise. For example, I work in the digital marketing space and that's why I have a pretty sizable investment in NET or Cloudflare because I know their scope of work in my industry. Once you've generated an idea for an investment, you should do some market research. For example, I use this website called Simply Wall ST. It's a paid service. However, it's completely worth it because they give you some pretty interesting financial information. The second thing that I think that you can learn from Peter Lynch is basically that anyone can do this. Again, this one is a little bit misinterpreted because they think that anyone can invest in the stock market, but anyone can as long as you have logic and common sense. Common sense isn't all that common. Now, if you don't have common sense, don't invest in the stock market. Peter Lynch in his book, One Up on Wall Street, talks about the different types of companies. He says fast growers, slow growers, and cyclicals. If you don't understand what is your type of business, then you will not be able to understand what kind of returns you can expect from that business. He also talks about the characteristics of a 10 bagger, an investment that goes up in value by about 10 times. He says that the name is important. Yes, you shouldn't invest in a company that's poorly named. He also says that you have to look at their recurring revenue, like Cloudflare, and he also says that you have to look at the buyback of the company because at the end of the day, the company knows about their future. That's why I recommended Fila Techs India last week. Also, he says that there are certain companies that you should try to avoid based on their characteristics. For example, if it's a hot industry, then chances are that that company is overvalued. Also, if the company does not have many customers, in the sense, have you remembered a company called Imagine Technologies? Well, there's a reason you don't remember them because their only customer was Apple and when Apple ditched them, the company went down the drains. The third thing that you can take away from Peter Lynch is that you should have the right stomach for investing. Now he says the most important organ is not your brain for investing, it's your stomach for investing. Basically you should have a high tolerance for pain. The market goes up and down and it can be hard to lose your money especially if you have people depending on you. However, a lot more people have lost money waiting for the market to correct than people who have invested consistently. For example, in the case of Japan, a lot of people are fond of this story, the market took over 13 years to correct itself. However, if you had invested consistently during that period, you would have made quite a bit of money. A shout out to Morgan Housel here, he says that Napoleon has said that the definition of a military genius is a person who does the average thing when everyone around them is losing their mind. Basically, in the stock market, when everyone is shouting sell, sell, if you do the average thing and find good quality businesses to invest in, then in the long term, you'll be just fine. 
If you found this video useful or terrific, then you can give it a thumbs up. As always, please go over to YouTube, subscribe to the Vlog of Note channel, ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video, and I will see you right back here. Next